Hello again, it's Wendy Brightville, and this is the second time you've gotten to see me this week, so that's kind of fun. I already posted a vlog earlier this week, and today I'm just saying hello, and then I'm going to demonstrate a quick background for you guys. So here's the background. Super fun. It's alcohol dripping. Well, I have done alcohol dripping for a while now, and the only way I've ever done it is with acrylic paint. And when you do it with acrylic paint, it's kind of a pain in the butt, because here's why. You have to first put a coat of acrylic paint onto your paper, and then you have to take your acrylic paint, you have to completely let that dry, completely. And then you take your acrylic paint and you water it down like a ton, a ton, a ton. And it's very picky, like if you don't get it watered down enough, it, the, the alcohol won't react with the paint and nothing will happen. And it's just kind of, it's kind of a pain in the butt. So, the other day I was sitting there thinking and I thought, hmm... I don't even know what I was doing, but I thought, you know what, wouldn't it make more sense to use something that's already water-based, that already has water in it to react with the alcohol, instead of the acrylic paint, which you have to water down so much just to get it to react. So I was thinking, okay, what if I used this my spray inks? And I did it, and it works magnificently, way better than it ever works with acrylic ink, in the sense that it's like super, super fast, like it just happens really quick. Of course, you have to get it when it's, you have to catch it when it's wet to have the, the right reaction, but I was just super excited to discover that. So it's just one more of the many, many reasons I am in love with these, my spray inks. I mean, they're just amazing and I love using them and it's so, they're so fast to use that it's just like, I can sit down in like two minutes and have a background page started and that's just awesome. So Another cool reason why the water-based inks are kind of fun too. So I'm going to go ahead and demonstrate this to you. It's so, so easy. Anyone can do it. So here we go. Okay, so the only thing, so the only thing that you'll need for this background is your spray inks and a paintbrush, a clean paintbrush, and your rubbing alcohol. I have 91%. I don't know that it matters, but just so you know. I'm so excited to show you guys this. So all you do for this is you just start spraying your inks. Now for the fun part, you just take your paintbrush and then you get some alcohol on it and then you just splatter it across the spray inks. Isn't that super cool? It's way fast. And let's see, I want to add another color. What color do I want to add? That was plum. I think I'll add some of this blue here. And then Again, just, it even works like if there's hardly even any paint on there, which is way cool. I think it works a little bit better if there's a less of a spray, because notice how these ones aren't quite as defined as down here. But it's still really a cool pattern. And then it's kind of cool to just overlap the colors. They kind of mix. I'm going to dab this little bit up a little bit because I don't want it to be too wet. 
when I do it. Isn't that like so fun? I mean, it's even working over here still. Super, super cool. Let's see, what other color do I want to use? Maybe like some butterscotch here. another one and then I think I'm going to end with my terracotta and again I'm just going to dab, dab it up just a tad it's, it's a little bit different than the using acrylic paints but it's still just a fun, different way to use, to do alcohol dripping in your art journals in a fun and different way to use your spray inks by Ranger. And there you go, it's just as easy as that. Now I just need to let it dry and I'm done. But see how fast and easy that was? No mess, just real quick, super fun. And I hope you enjoyed this tutorial and if you liked it, like it.